Old Route 8, eight years old. All right, I like it. So Augusta Distillery won the honor of best bourbon in the world at the 2023 San Francisco World Spirits Competition for their Buckner's 13 year single barrel expression. Now their 15 year expression was also recently named both the best craft bourbon and best craft whiskey in the United States by the American Distilling Institute. Not really sure how that works. How is a 15 year and 13 year bourbon that sourced win a craft award? I don't know, you gotta love awards. Well, in the midst of all those awards and those high aged Buckners having a price tag of about 200 to $250, Augusta released this, Old Route 8, a newly released eight year single barrel cast strength expression that uses the same mash bill as the Buckners and is a bit more affordable. Let's dive in, it's the mash and drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mass and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe and help grow the channel for 2023. Thanks for stopping by. The uh, 40,000 square foot Augusta Distillery is located on the banks of the Ohio River in Kentucky, sitting between New Rip Distillery and Maysville's Old Pogue Distillery, which is kind of a nice throwback story where bourbon began back on the river days of the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Now, as I mentioned, their Buckner's single barrel bourbons have garnered most of the attention. This new Old Route 8 from Augusta is a more affordable cast strength single barrel bourbon with the same mash bill as the Buckner's single barrel, which to me means this is the same bourbon they are sourcing for the Buckner's single barrels as well. Now, the back of the label says bottled by Augusta Distillery, but distilled and aged in Bardstown. So chances are, based on the age, I would guess that this is either Heaven Hill Distillate or Barton Distillate. All right, let's dive in and find out. Oh, that, was, that wasn't a great pop. <laughs> so the Old Route 8 Single Barrel Bourbon is eight years old. It's bottled at cast strength. In this case, 114.7 proof. It's non-chill filtered and priced at around 115 bucks per 750 milliliter bottle. Now this is pretty limited. It's available in Kentucky and also Ohio. All right, let's dive right into this thing, guys. Here we go. Well, I get a lot of apple peel on here. Apple peel just jumping out of the glass to me. You got your brown sugars, you got your usual, you know, vanillas, caramels, I think. But I think there's a really distinct apple note here that I'm getting. A Little bit of nuttiness, it's pretty sweet on the nose. A Little bit spicy. I really like that 114 proof point. I don't know about you guys, but I like the proof point of this. I, my favorite proof point right now is kind of in between that 100 to 10 and 120 area. Don't get me wrong, I like a good, you know, 125, proof bourbon, but just for everyday sipping, I like kind of like that 100 to 100 and, uh, you know, between that 100 and 120 range. But man, it's it's pretty apple heavy to me. Maybe a hint of a banana as well, a little bit. When I, when I smell banana, I think Barton. However, it's kind of nutty, so maybe it's Heaven Hill. It's, it's, it's that Bartstown stuff, man. It's the Bartstown stuff. All right, here we go, let's try it. Very fruit forward and candy to me. Um, wow. I did not expect it to be that sweet. So I, I get the apple still up front, but then man, this goes like sugary sweet candy. <laughs> to me, it, it's almost like a, uh, I don't know. Well, hold on a second. Yeah, so second sip, I really do think the the uh, that eight year influence really comes through. You get a little bit of the oak, you get some brown sugar. I don't think it really gets darker than that. I wouldn't say it gets into, you know, rich dark fruits or anything like that. This is a little bit brighter, a little bit sweeter. I get the apple, but man, the candy part of it. It's a super, super sweet candy. Like, I don't know, like takes me back to like fun dip. Like that type of sugary sweetness. But I will say it also has a nice little mouthfeel texture to it. It's got, you know, pretty good texture. It's nice, it's got a little bit of spice there on the back end. Not a super lingering finish by any means. Again, 114 proof. But I think these are flavors that a lot of people can get on board on for this one. It's, it's very approachable, it's very sweet. It's pretty much what you would expect in a bourbon. Uh, but man, $115 for this, that's the real issue. 
And I know what some of you are thinking already, you know, more high price sourced bourbon, I get it. But if you're a new player in the market these days, this is what you have to do. Unfortunately, competition for high age barrels and eight years is a high age barrel when it comes to trying to source barrels. I mean, anything over six, seven years is pretty high age considering, um, you know, the competition that you have to go through to source older age barrels. Now I did read the plan for Augusta. They want to go full grain to glass eventually, which makes sense after a $30 million distillery investment. But yeah, I don't, I mean, it's good. I think as we have found out, what Augusta does very well is they source really good barrels. Again, very sweet, very approachable. I think it's a little bit more sweet than spice. I think it definitely leans on the sweeter side. A little bit of oak there. Nothing to write home about, but also nothing that blows me away either. All right, final breakdown. All right, Augusta Old Route 8. Eight year single barrel bourbon cast strength. Price for this one, about 100, I think it's $114 actually. Uh, but with tax, I think I paid around 120 bucks for it. Secondary value, I haven't really seen these at all. Uh, you know, this is only available in two states, which brings me to availability. It's really only available in Kentucky and Ohio right now, so it's pretty limited. Value for this one's pretty easy. It's gonna be low. This is a $115, $120 bourbon when it's all said and done. And I just think for the age and what you're paying for it, there's just too many other bourbons out there that are cheaper that can either match this or exceed it. Uh, the most I pay for this, obviously it's gonna be the retail price, but if I had to set a price for this, with the, what's the price I wish it was? I do wish this was more of a 70 to $80 bourbon. I mean, even that might be a little high, but again, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to place it in today's market and some of the other ages I've seen for an eight year old bourbon. I think like 70 to 80 would be probably pretty perfect. However, you know, sourcing barrels is not a cheap business. Alternatives, I mean, there's plenty to list here. Now, if this is sourced from Barton, you have 1792 Ball and Bond, 1792 Full Proof. If it is Heaven Hill, I mean, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is always kind of the best alternative for most things. Uh, but on top of that, you even have Larceny Barrel Proof. I know this isn't a weeder, but that's still another great barrel proof bourbon that you can get um, that could go right head to head with this and maybe even exceed it for some folks. And then, you know, on the other hand, you have a lot of source Barton products out there like Lucky 7 and Calumet, all doing high age, um, high age bourbons that are either just a little bit more expensive or even cheaper than this. All right, lastly, is it a skip? Is it a try before you buy? Is it a buyers or buying back it up? Um, for this one, I mean, I know not a lot of people are gonna be able to get this. It is only available in two states. Um, however, there's just too many good bourbons at the price point for this one. So I would probably say skip this one. I mean, it's good. I just, I can't, you know, justify paying the price for it. The one thing that this bottle does have is the Augusta name on it. Now Augusta made a lot of waves recently, obviously for winning best bourbon in the world. And that carries a lot of weight, especially when you're trying to market something new to a new group of drinkers. So if anything, that will help this bottle probably sell a little bit more. But however, for folks like us, whiskey geeks and people that, you know, bourbon nerds that are out there in the market that kind of know the competition, not quite sure to see where this one fits. However, I am excited to see Augusta and see what they do when they get to a grain to glass type production. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the Augusta Old Route 8 Single Barrel Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this one. Do you agree with my assessment? Are you still interested in trying it? Um, I, like I said, I do think it's a really solid bourbon, but the competition and the pricing for this one is just, there's just too much out there. So uh, let me know what you think. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers, see you next time right here on The Mash and Drum. Cheers, folks.